Yes, thanks for staying with us on the Sports Max Zone. We turn our attention now to Ray and Nephew Jamaica Premier League football. Match week 13 concluded on Thursday with victories for a number of title hopefuls. Let's look at the full results from the midweek fixtures now. Montego Bay United defeating Tivoli by two goals to one, snapping a seven-game on re run by the Tivoli Gardens team. Harborview beaten 2-1 by Waterhouse. Mount Pleasant in form now, 4-1 over Lime Hall. Vera United beaten by Dunbar Holden, 2-1. Humberland beaten 4-1 by Portmore for their fifth straight victory, the ex-champions. Malines beaten 3-0 by Cavalier, who are now in form after a stuttering start to the season, and Arnett Gardens winning 2-0 over Treasure Beach, condemning Treasure Beach to their seventh consecutive loss. So problems there for the newcomers in the Premier League, Treasure Beach and Lime Hall, both at the top, at the bottom of the up bottom of the table. Lime Hall without a victory from the 13 games they've played so far. Treasure Beach with just two wins in their 12 matches, but the top of the table shows a consistent Mount Pleasant with 28 points. They're just one in front of Portmore United though, and um, not too far behind, jointly on 24 points. Tivoli Gardens and Arnett Gardens, they're just four points off the lead, both of them. Tivoli just slightly ahead on goal difference over Arnett Gardens. Cavalier and Dunbar Holden, the other teams occupying the playoff spots at the moment. Waterhouse in seventh two points off a playoff position. Vera United, Montego Bay, Humberland, Harborview, and Malines in the bottom half of the table. So that's the current standings uh, following match week 13 in the Jamaica Premier League. So Thursday's final fixture at the Tony Spalling Sports Complex served up a homecoming for last year's Arnett Garn skipper and goal scoring machine. Fabian Paco Blacks Reed, who was on the score sheet for the Junglists in the 2 0 victory over Treasure Beach, fresh from a short stint in India, Reed secured the Player of the Match award. You know, Fabian, you don't hear, you know, and Anna Gada want a goal, you know. It's, it's a team sport, you know, but I have to push myself, you understand, because they know what they can expect um, from me, um, goals. So whenever I get the chance, I'm going to try to put it away for my team get the lead. Yeah, Fabian Reed there, ace veteran for Arnett Gardens and uh, had some stints overseas as well. Uh, played in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, San Juan Jablote yes, uh, San Juan briefly Jablote. and um, fresh from India. We'll talk about that in just a moment though because apparently it wasn't um, the best of experiences for you. Yeah. But um, I saw you on television a couple of nights ago and uh, the story was there that you, you, you were returning to Arnett Gardens yeah. but um, I didn't know it would happen so quickly. Yeah. You know? And you actually scored last night. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to be back, man. You know? Nice to be back um, in the red and black. Yeah. So we come back to give my team the strength and it got <coughs> so that is what I, I do last night. <coughs> Talk to us about your leaving Arnett Gardens though, um, for the, the trip to India. We've seen Caribbean players in India before. Um, a lot of the contracts though weren't sustained. Maybe you can talk to us a little about that. But how difficult was it for you to leave Arnett Gardens in the first place to go on this India opportunity? All right, it is. All right, to be honest, it's very difficult, you know, um, because the first time um, when I was getting the contract, um, they contacted me and my name was discussing what is happening, um, what we going to do about it. I understand. So I said to them, um, OK. We're going to discuss this. I will discuss salary and everything and reaching over um, to reach over there. They're supposed to give me a ticket, like buy the ticket for me to reach. And when I look, um, I signed from September the 1st. And when I look, I'm still at Jamaica, um, still in Jamaica, um, October, same way. Mm -hmm. So I make a move and I buy my ticket to reach over there because I want to experience. And I, they told me when I reach over there, they will pay me for my three months salary. And, when I reach, no salary over there. So I keep on play. You understand? I, I, I reach over there and I play. So the first game I play, I start, start the first game, but I didn't score. The second game I start, I score. So I show them that what I can do. The second, the third game, I start and I assist. Still asking for a salary. No one is giving me any salary. No one is um, coming up front to me and telling me what is what about my salary. And I have family to feed, so I make a decision, say, I have to come back home. And I just do that, just come back home. 
So was that salary issue sorted out in the end? No, I still up to today the year. I don't get a salary. So you, so the, you spent less than about two months in India? Yeah, but I signed the contract from the 1st of September. Right. Yes. So it should have been retroactive? So it should have, yeah, so yeah. whenever I reach, they should um, send, uh, give me salary. So, so let me be clear here. Your trip to India, yeah. you played a few games for Naroka, scored. In the second game you played, you're saying that you received no payment for your entire India trip? No payment. And no Not ticket as well, he No said. ticket as well. I don't receive no ticket. I don't so you just went so for free I and played for, for free? I just went for free and played for free. So what was your agent saying to you? Because My agent. he was responsible for taking care of your business there. All right, the agent is a person that worked with the club, okay. which um, I, I didn't know that he worked with the club. I think he's just an agent that is an agent like normally he's just looking out for players, trying to help not players. Not attached to us. Yeah, yeah, club. I understand. So when. I talked to him about this. He told me that, yes, you're going to get salary. So I said, when I reach, I'll get it. He said, yes. When I reach, I know salary. And I play without salary, see me, because I love the sports, you understand? And I, but I have family to take care of. So whenever I see that I'm not getting, I have to come back home. Yeah. N not a lot of Caribbean players, Mariah, have, have played in India. A couple of Trinidadians had played in India. Yeah. Abu Bakr and uh, Marcus Josephson and so on had had shorts in short stints in India. Um, Fabian, talk to us about the quality of the of the competition there and how you would rate it against maybe the Jamaica Premier League or other leagues that you would have played in. All right, the quality. I see Brazilians playing there and a lot of you know, Australians and yeah. Englishmen as well. Yeah, all right. It, it a, a quality, you know, the league is a quality league, you understand? But um, I think the decision um, with the club that I go at the time, they're in some problem at their own their home ground. So maybe if me they are our next team, yeah. maybe it's a more better. You understand? It's a more better, maybe if me they are our next team. So I just that experience that I go and get yeah. there. But so it, the, team, the, the, the league itself, it's okay. You understand? But you have a little problem with my team, which I don't really want, you know, just to get that still. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> so, Naroka, they were bottom or second from bottom of the table? They've been struggling. Yeah, they will struggle now. They, they're the bottom of the table right now because things is not going how it's supposed to go. Because, to be honest, they know why it's not going. Mm -hmm. They know why they're not going how it's supposed to go. They, why they're not climbing. Because, to be honest, we have a good team. If they have a good team, you understand? But behind that, something is going wrong. Yeah, and clearly you financial difficulties. You yeah. need money to play and yeah. money to win. And, and you have family to take care of. So mm. you need money to take care of family to family can okay. And it's have a difficulty again with, all right, whenever, if you get any money, you cannot send out of the country. Oh. You understand? So if then... you have, they don't send money out. They only receive money in India. Oh. So whenever I get a, if I get something, I cannot send it out. Oh. You understand? If if I if, if it's, it's gonna go, out, it's a long story. Okay. You understand? It's a long story because I have to give someone money, like Indian person, that in a different country, that is is in Syria, okay. and they have to send it from Syria to Jamaica. So Fabian, based on your experience, right? Mm. Do you think? If yeah. another opportunity ever comes up yeah. for a different club, yeah. would you consider it or you think you're done with this based on that horrific experience that you had? No, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to take the opportunity to see me because it's still the opportunity is going to come. You right. understand? Maybe the next one we get, it can change Correct. something bigger. You understand? So I have to just wait and see. And if it comes, we just um, go pan it see me. But things in the pipeline see me to go overseas. But you'll know better this time. Yeah, I will <laughs> do better. Because it's just I experience that. I learn something. I you know the care or bigger is you know, you learn day okay. by day. And yeah, so mm -hmm. So you're back with your team, the team that you've captained, Arnett Gardens. Yeah. What are the plans for this season? The plans for this season um to win the league, you know, because as you can see, two seasons now back we go we fall to shot by semi-final. So this is uh, we have a couple players that we're going to get um, strength. So come in, we'll just work it together and just try to win the league this season. That is our aim for this season. Our aim is for Kankakoft. 
yeah, conquer cuff. Yeah, that is our aim. Have you set a goal target? Because they call you the goal scoring machine. Um, yes. Not for fun, but because of the number of goals that you've scored. Do you ever set a target or is it that you just go with the momentum and how it scores, it scores? All right. To be honest, this season, I'm not really a set a target um, to but just want to go in double figures. Mm -hmm. It's not a target for me, I said, but it's, we just want double figures. When we're playing a tournament, I always want to score a double figure. I always want to try a double figures um, to, to keep in you know, that frame of mind. So that is the reason. What's the mood like in the Arnett Gardens camp? The mood is all right, you know. It's well, you know, happy for see me and the, the welcome back me get from the team. You know, them show me respect, so, you know, so me have to just guide them and try to see if we can win it this season, because we need to win it this season. Mm -hmm. All right, understand? Uh, Fabian, you're 32 years old now, yeah. um, and you've played a lot of football for Arnett Garns, but mm -hmm. apart from a couple of seasons ago, when I, I saw when you returned, you weren't 100% fit yet. Yeah. But when you got back your fitness, the goals, the goals kept coming. Mm -hmm. um, how much of your success in the Jamaica Premier League now is due to your vast experience and know-how? Because you have the confidence of playing in the league. So uh, I remember you saying recently in an interview, in a post-match interview, that um, the, the younger players look to you yeah. for, for leadership. Yeah. And um, that certainly is the case, and I'm sure they're welcoming you back. Yeah. But um, how confident are you that even at 32, you can deliver in the same way that you did in your 20s? All right, to be honest, you know, I believe that I can do it because the, the work I'm putting in training, you understand? So the work I'm putting in training, so it's a short on the field because when you get up in age, you have to understand, so you, have, you have worked harder, you have worked twice <laughs> harder, you understand? So that is what I do. I when I go to the training ground, I work hard and push the, the younger guys and tell them, say, tell them, always keep telling them, when you get in older, you have to work more harder. So work hard, you have, to, you have to try to work hard from now, come straight up. Because if I'm not performing, if I'm not scoring goals here, I'm not fit or anything, um, I wouldn't continue to play the sports here, man. Yeah. But not that 32 is old, I just want to make that clear. No, it's because, just a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're still, yeah. 32 is still a, a, a prime age to produce as, yeah. a, as a footballer. But did you return from India physically fit? What's your conditioning like? And, and how long have you been back home training? All right, I've been back home, um, um, I think a month, a month. A month? Yeah, but I from I left, I from I reached back Jamaica, I, 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 I straight in training, yes. I come. Straight in so you, you, I, how fit were you when you came back to Jamaica? Yeah, I was fit you because fit. The, as when, when we come back in, we play um, two practice games. The two practice games that I play, I score five goals in two practice games. For real? Yeah, we play Mount Pleasant and we play um, we play Mount Pleasant that are academy that are the, the younger guys and we play uh, more lines in a practice game and in the two games I score five goals so yeah. i try to keep myself sharp i can keep myself in shape you understand as when we say age is just a number age is just a number so we just try to work hard and right. can you explain to me just going back backtracking to the india experience what were you were you were you at naroka on a loan and is it that returning to arnett now you've had to sign a new contract or what how, how did the paperwork go uh, the paperwork, you know, um, you know, it's not alone. It just, it's just send me, yeah, just for experience it and go over there. So, but to come back, um, the paperwork is, is just a transfer that I need because I did have my termination letter before. So it's just a transfer that I need to, to start to play back in Arnett Garden. So the transfer come true. So I just have to go there go deliver. But you know, there, 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 there is an aspect to your experience here that that has to be highlighted though um fabian because somebody in india should have to explain what has happened and i i guess from a journalistic standpoint now you have triggered us to reach out to get some more on this story because yeah. um it seems unbelievable mm. that you would have gone on a contract to play in in india yeah and not received any salary. The, the, the Indian, if yeah, the yeah. Indian officials must answer to that. Yeah. So, didn't what was your response from them when you Left. put your case there? All right. Um, to be honest, I send out a lot of email, 
a lot of email to the Football Federation for India. Not just your club? Not just my club. Yeah. I send to the Football Federation for India. And I call the Football Federation and told them that I, what I'm going through. Yeah. You did, did they speak English? They, 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 they give they chance um, chance from <laughs> someone that yeah, yeah someone to me to understand I they say they gotta get back to me and no one get back to me and I was keep on sending email sending email and no one is um, response to um, to me mm -hmm. so it's a it, it I go through a, I go through a, a really hard times over there mm -hmm. I go through a really hard times over there hard times because as we tell you I have family to take care of. Playing football three months with us, uh, without salary, that's you know, that, that's a big loss for me. You understand? Which is age I'm at because I have, I have kids to take care of. Yeah. Yeah. What you about understand? the fans? Did they enjoy your game? The fans? All right, yeah, the fans, the, to be honest, the fans love me. The, 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 the team itself um, respect me and love me. Yeah. You understand? But the other part, the management, no, it's not a good management. Um, I think because you were scoring as well, everybody loves a player that can give them goals. Yeah, so <laughs> me and him. When we there, we meet and we go to have dinner and eat, uh, eat and talk around the table with the team, yeah. with the teammates, with our teammates. And they told me that when I told them that I'm going to leave, they said, they say, yeah, you have a right to leave because things is not going for you. So, did you have other non-nationals in your Naroka team? All right, the players who weren't from India. Who's from India? Yeah, but I was have three. We have four um, um, outside players like. Oh, yeah, wow. from Syria, and and I think uh, yeah, three of them from uh, yeah from, from, from Syria. Syria. One of those was the captain, um, David Simba. But did they yeah. have similar experiences to you, or were they getting paid? No, no one. No, also oh, nobody. Everybody playing for free. N yeah, everybody playing for free. Wow. Till the captain, we tell ourselves that this need to stop. Yes. We understand. We we'll go hard. We we'll go hard as hard, and they 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 hard to deal with. They are hard to deal because no care how you try to explain your family issues, so you need your family to take care of, you need money. They seem like they, they don't care. Yeah. And they're there with their family, taking enjoy themselves with their family. And we outside, far from our family, because I have to take four planes to reach at India. Right. How much was the cost of the ticket to India? The, the ticket is 300,000. What? Yeah. And, and you had to 300, pay that? 300,000 for go. For going on, yes. and, for, and they have to pay an exchange and to come back. Yeah, how thankful are you that Arnett Gardens and their management, you know, when you came back, they welcomed you with open arms because that's a big deal. It, it speaks also yeah. to what you contributed to the team and the relationship you have with them. Yeah, all right. Arnett Gardens, when I come back, um, I explain the, the, rela um, the relationship that I go over in their face. So, Arnett Gardens, since I come, Arnett Gardens try to. The, the management staff tried to give me, you know, a look at thing for try to motivate me back because it I was down because I lost a lot because it's out of my pocket yeah. it's come. Yes. You understand? So I lost a lot. So it just that. So I just grateful for be back at home yes. and just try to free my mind. With your family. With my family. <laughs> because it's hard to play football when you when you're away yeah. without Focusing on your family is okay. And you scoring, understand? scoring on your first game back um, would certainly help in lifting your spirits. Yeah, that's to lift my spirits more, <laughs> and yeah. it's nice to be back in the jungle. Yeah. And, and, and how about your new coach Xavier Gilbert? Because when you left, yeah. um, the coaching setup was different. Yeah, man, man, coach have a look, have a understanding, you know, because as we must say, he's not, we don't knew. Yeah. So more, any coach come to Arnett Guard, they, they know me, you understand? The so only thing me and him just need for us to correspond and get to yeah. know each other more, you understand? So, but me and him have the understanding there. Good. All right, Fabian Reed, great to have you in the Sports Mic Zone. It's not the first time that we have you live yeah. in the studio. First time in these studios. These studios, yeah. We've we spoken to, spoke to you live on the show before. Always a pleasure to have Fabian Reed in as we talk Jamaica Premier League football. So back from a very uncomfortable experience in India but back in the red and black Arnett Gardens colors now and scoring immediately as Arnett Gardens are taking aim on the playoffs and ultimately the championship back with more on the Sports Mag Zone after this